dream is live! You ready? Start up! Hey! It's me! I just want to let you know that we're going to go over Miguel Caballero Rojo and his plan to come after after Jin during the Technic story and with Lydia finally out as downloadable content we get to figure out what's going to happen. So, without further waiting, let's get started. So, I just wanted to help everybody. And I just really want to help stop the tears along with Hilo, Fu, Chloe, and Machi will help me out. Kimi is busy preparing with the lady of video. So, later on, let's go! We already explained Miguel's role in Tekken 6's scenario campaign and what happened after 7 with Jin, going back to Yakushima for training to help Lee, Lars, Elisa for the final endgame with Kazuya. Despite that his influence has taken over the Earth with Ling Xiaoyu, taken by Claudio as bait, it was the Fina used by the Cyrus Marksman to eliminate the two devastating stars. Nevertheless, Miguel, after fighting him, told him about what happened when Jin declared independence and started World War III with his sister. And Natalia was killed in the air raid strike that blew up the church, and although he was in great pain, nearly collapsed as Natalia was dead a few minutes later, and also his parents since he was only an orphan, which is heartbreaking. Well, we do know his sister is getting married, and this is similar to me and Ichi in episode 10 of Save Me Lollipop. And, to be honest, it was actually kind of ironic. Well, that's correct. After beating up Jin, before the final blow was struck, after he was asked to be defeated and dead, Miguel spares Jin's life because he is not filled with hope. And I should mention that Miguel did meet Heihachi during the scenario campaign about why he started this mess and why he was responsible for this family feud. After this, Miguel tells Jin that once he brings peace that his grandfather wanted, Miguel will come after again and deliver the final blow. And he tells him, and I quote Miguel, until that day comes, don't you dare die. But Miguel is unaware of the devil gene, which means if Jin dies, he will be resurrected as the half of Kazuya's soul from Kazume is a life support vessel. But, thanks to Iwabe, we managed to split into two different scenarios. A. Miguel will come after Jin I after he is defeated by Kazuya. Or B. He will encounter them during the story after Harada and Michael already has the answer. So it's up to Bandai Namco to figure out how to end this battle between Jin and Miguel as the latter wants revenge for his sister Natalia's death and justice for his family because they died in an air raid by the financial group. That's correct. So we already figured out about how this would work next time on the road to Tekken 8. And we will talk about Lydia and her role for Tekken 7 and for the next game and then later... Ling Xiaoyu captured, and how Claudio and Zafina will plan to catch Jin. And I would like to say we're totally sorry that we have one more part left to talk about. Don't forget to subscribe!